So let's talk about the importance of words in conversations with women. I had a female friend of mine that hit me up and was inquiring about a situation that happened with a guy that she's dating. They've been on two dates so far. And on the second date, she asked him, so like, what kind of woman are you looking for? Which, by the way, I think is a not very good question to ask so early on in the dating process because people are asking that, hoping that whatever they hear is going to correlate with who they are. And I think that's something that you find out naturally as you're dating versus assuming that you're going to get the answer you want to hear off the bat and then be happy with it. But I digress. She asked the question. And so she said the guy responded by saying that he wanted to date a woman that would be cooperative. And she said when he said that, she could feel that she had some kind of reaction and had to inquire further, like, what do you mean cooperative? And so what she was telling me was that she didn't like the way that he said cooperative. She didn't like the fact that the word was used at all, right? And so, you know, as a person that has been studying this for a long time, I would have already known not to use that word in a conversation because I would have understood the meaning that the woman I'm talking to was probably going to add to that, even if what I'm saying to me has no harsh meaning at all and isn't meant to be offensive. All right. And so he tried to explain to her like what he meant in terms of like, you know, somebody that's going to, you know, if I, if, if I'm supposed to be the leader and I make certain decisions that she's going to be okay with that, she's not going to be trying to question me all the time, like technically decent stuff. And for women that are looking for guys that are going to be leaders, these are good things, but it was the term itself that had her questioning like what he actually meant and if it was a bad thing. And so it's interesting that some guys just don't get that concept. This idea that there are certain ideas you're going to try to get across to women that if you use the wrong phrasing or the wrong words, they're going to take it the wrong way. And some men will think, well, I should just be able to speak however I want to and how I say things shouldn't be taken a certain way. And hey, if you want to choose to think like that, you totally can. But I would have you consider this. What I told her was that, you know, I, I get the idea that saying I want a woman that's cooperative, even if there was a better way of saying that, I, I understand how she would take that offensively. And I said to her, it's very similar to how when women come to us and say, well, you know, I'm a strong, independent woman. Like there's not actually anything wrong with being independent. You're able to take care of yourself. You're able to move about in the world without having to ask for too much help. But guys on, on a large scale hear the word independent from a woman and we think difficult. We think she's not going to need us for anything. We think this woman's not going to trust my leadership and she's going to fight me. Now the woman saying that isn't trying to add that connotation at all. She's trying to prove to you that, you know, if she chooses you, it's because she really cares about you. And it's not about her being a gold digger or her trying to use you for your resources, even though we know that's going to happen by default. But they're trying to get a point a, across the point that they just want you for you. And so they're saying, I'm independent because they don't want you to think that they're going to try to take advantage. But for us guys, we hear the word independent and we think all kinds of bad things that they're not trying to push on us at all, but that in our experience, women that have said in they're independent have, may have given us in the past, right? And so as a guy, hopefully you understand that idea, that the fact that you have a visceral reaction to when women say independent should give you pause about, wait a minute, what things then could I potentially be saying to women in conversations that unbeknownst to me are actually being taken in the wrong way based on whatever, you know? And so this is where we get into things like the words you say, shoot, the, the phrases you say, sometimes the syllables you say, the texture of the language that you're saying, meaning that when you say certain things, how it's being heard, and then the feeling that a woman's having based on the feeling you're giving her from saying those words, all these things play a huge part in if women feel as though that their communication with you is either positive or negative, all right? And so what I had to learn in my own life was that I could be saying things, and again, 
I'm not having any kind of emotional context. I'm not saying anything out of judgment. I could just be saying things in a conversation, right? And I started to realize that some of the things that I was saying, it was resulting in fights being started or reactions women are having that I wasn't aware of because I'm thinking, I'm just trying to be honest. I'm just trying to be my real self. And so I'm trying to give my true thoughts. And I had to learn that there's ways to give your true thoughts in a way that you also are saying it to where women are going to feel a lot more open to hearing those things. You know, let's go, for example, to the conversation that my friend had. So he said, I want a woman that's cooperative. What I would have said was, I just want a woman that's chill and is able to go with the flow. Now, go with the flow signifies, oh, you want a woman that is going to cooperate. You know, she's not going to be too much of a hassle. She's not going to be argumentative. And when you say that phrase, women will feel that what you mean is somebody that's cooperative, but you're not saying the exact word cooperative. Something about that word, just, just know this going forth, gentlemen, you saying to women, I want a woman that's cooperative. To them, they hear that as you want a woman that has no thought process of her own, is willing to just dumbly go along with whatever you say, regardless of any kind of harm that it brings to her. And so you're not trying to give it that connotation, but this is why, again, it's important that you as a guy really start studying up on when women hear certain things or certain phrases or certain uh, textures of things or certain syllables, what is the general reaction that women are going to give? I told another woman friend about this friend where I said, yeah, my friend, she uh, called me up and told me about this guy. And she said that he said he wanted a cooperative woman. And the woman that I told that to had the eyes open like, whoa. And I was like, yeah, she had that. That, that was the exact reaction that my friend had. And so it's like, it's not just one woman. Like, it's different if like you say a thing and like one woman reacts weird to it and she's like, you know, off kilter or whatever, right? But if you notice that you'll say a certain phrase or have certain conversations with women and you're saying these things in ways that women are reacting negatively to, then all I'm saying is consider that. Consider that if you want to get your point across, maybe there's a different way of doing that. Now, as part of my Introvert Dating Success Academy community, I have a whole program in there. It's a seven part audio series that talks about uh, how to avoid miscommunicating with women. And it goes into some of the things like this, like for example, the fact that women are all about passive language. Well, why is that? Why do they speak passively to you and aren't always so direct with their requests? That is the thing that you as a guy need to understand lest you continue to be extremely frustrated by women that don't do that, which is going to be a lot of women, okay? But all I to say, guys, is that if you notice that some of your conversations are going to places that you don't want them to go on a consistent basis, it could very well be that, you know, you could be having ideas or conversations that are great, except the words that you're using are causing the woman to have pause because the, the terminology you're using isn't the, the best way for them to take in what you're saying. Now, this doesn't mean you got to completely change your entire self or that you can never express any ideas. I know sometimes people will be like, Harry, why do I have to change? And this is that. It's, it's about the idea of understanding that when you are talking to women, it's almost like learning a second language. Like if you were to go to Mexico or Japan and try to speak English in a place that only speaks, you know, uh, Spanish or speaks Japanese, you could yell uh, English all day long Nobody's going to understand you and they're going to kind of be insulted that you weren't able to at least learn a few phrases in their language to get what you want. Right. So it's the same thing here. Just like I, I tell women, hey, you know, as guys in our world, we speak very directly. So if we're saying direct stuff to you, don't always take it offensively. Just know that that's how we talk. And then if there's ways that they can be taken in better, school us on what that would be for you. So that way there won't be this miscommunication. And so for you guys, I just say the same thing is that. You know, some women are more sensitive than others. There are going to be some you can say just about anything to and they won't take offense to it. But there are some things out there like, again, the you know, I want a woman that's cooperative. You could try saying that to like 10 women. I can assure you 10 of them are probably going to be ranging from like very offended to like, oh, I didn't expect to hear it like that. Like you could have said, go with the flow because you got to understand that stuff matters to women. It matters how they hear things and how they take in things if they're going to want to talk with you long term. Okay. So just wanted to point that out and hopefully it's able to help you as you go along talking to women. As always, if you want more help, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the coaching tab, click on the programs tab and see what we have to offer there. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington and I'll catch you guys on the next one.
Peace. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You